Is your home server changing its IP address every time it reboots? Today, we'll lock in a static IP in Ubuntu so you never lose remote access again. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tenevin Tech and our server security series. In the last video, we covered the getting started steps, including what you need to prepare for your server security. If you haven't watched that video yet, hit the card above or check the link in the description. Today, we're diving into the first steps of setting it all up, including updating and upgrading our system and setting a permanent static IP. By the end, your server will always come back online with the same address, allowing for consistent connectability going forward. Let's start by updating and upgrading our system. It is a good idea to always pull the latest package lists and apply all upgrades. Go ahead and run those updates now. You'll see dozens of packages download. This ensures your system is patched before we configure it. In order to set our static IP, we'll need to get a few configurations first. We'll need the network interface we want to use, it's a good idea to choose the most stable interface like Ethernet if it's available. We're going to need the IP address to become our static IP. You can use the current IP address of the device or simply pick one yourself. We're going to need the IP address of your router. This is usually referred to as the gateway IP address. And we're going to need the DNS servers. You may be able to set it as the same IP address as your router to let it handle the DNS resolving for you. Now that we have our configurations, let's set the static IP. Because Ubuntu uses the netplan utility, we'll need to create a netplan YAML file. Netplan will read all its YAML files in order to configure networking. Because we want our static IP to overwrite the default settings, we'll create a file starting with 99 to ensure it overwrites all other settings that came before it. I like to call mine 99staticip.yaml for clarity. Now let's add the details we need into the file. Since this is a YAML file, we will need to ensure all the spacing in front of each line is exactly right, otherwise it won't work. First, we'll set the interface. Then we'll make sure the static IP address is set with a prefix of 24 bits. Then we'll put the IP address of our router here. And finally, we'll put in our domain name servers here. And you can also add on the default Google DNS servers, which are 8.8.8.8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. .8 .4. If you are using a Wi-Fi connection, it will look a little different, and you will need to provide the Wi-Fi network name and password. Now save the file. Now we'll need to secure this file by altering its permissions such that it can only be accessed by the root user. Once that's done, have NetPlan apply the new settings. Then we'll verify that it all worked. You may need to reboot the system for the static IP to be active. Configuring these network settings can be tedious, and one small typo can break your remote access. That's exactly why I built Citadel, my automated security setup script. At the time of recording this video, Citadel supports Ubuntu, but not necessarily Debian, because setting a static IP in Debian is different than Ubuntu, and while doing my research, I found it can be done in four different ways depending on how you set up your system. So if you plan to run Ubuntu and are thinking of purchasing Citadel, check the link in the description. What distro are you running on your home server? Ubuntu, Debian, or something else? Let me know in the comments below. Hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video, where I'll show you how to set up Docker containers behind a lockdown firewall. If you haven't seen our getting started video, click here or check the link in the description. I'll see you there.